Hey, Jordi. Hey, Dani. How are you? Sorry about that. My last meeting went a little over. <laughs> and no worries. Yeah. So uh, I didn't add anything to the agenda because uh, there was nothing much other than going through the issues you created for governance, right, Tori? Uh, yeah, and kind of talking about the release goals and what do we yeah. want to do each uh, release, right? Right. Uh, those are the two things. Mm -hmm. Right. So I did see that I didn't go through it yet. The plan is to go through it today. I and Sami decided that we'll go through it today and uh, we'll try to see uh, mm -hmm. what okay. is that yeah. needs to be done. And also, is there anything that you wanted to cover in today's meeting, uh, Toddy? No, just those two things that I added to, to the agenda. OK, let me go through the agenda. Yeah, release goals and governance items. So the plan yep. is uh, based on our previous meeting, uh, right? Previous uh, community meeting. Um, I think Feynman was telling if there is anyone that will be available on Friday to do the PR reviews, right? Uh, Friday, PR? you mean tomorrow? Tomorrow. I I don't think so. So folks no? will be available maybe uh, Sunday uh, because that's like Sunday evening. Uh, China team will be available to start with the P PR reviews. Right, uh, right. That's uh, uh, that's my expectation. Because uh, uh, we, in order to the to do the end to end testing, I am I'm making. Uh, I what I was thinking is, Tori, we need a build at least on thirty first, the dev build at least, mm -hmm. uh, correct, uh, so that we can give it to Jimmy so that mm -hmm. uh, we can verify that ratify thing right he's already working on yes. um, mm -hmm. the end to end testing setup actually uh, so what we said is he might have to rebuild the image itself once uh, mm -hmm. we give him the latest uh, build from notation right but right now with ratify 1.0 uh, and with notation rc1 libraries uh, he is uh, he started the setup and he'll continue to do the testing for sign and verify. But mm -hmm. for the fallback itself, we definitely want to make sure there are no surprises uh, uh, earlier than our RC2, basically, to see that mm -hmm. the assumption that has been made in the Ratify community that there is no need of any additional changes because ORAS library has the fallback mechanism uh, that is embedded as part of the library itself. We need to test and prove it that that assumption is right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, right. makes sense. Right. That's, that's the thing I'll be calling out. Uh, um, probably I might uh, go ahead and uh, ping uh, frame in and E or or I let you communicate that to them, to your internal. Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, I will uh, ping them yeah. uh, both on Slack and internally. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. to make sure that they, if they have any, actually, I'll ping not only them but also the engineers, so they can start looking at the PRs at their first opportunity. But I do not expect that they will be able to do that before Sunday evening hour, like. Um, Pacific Correct. time, Correct. Uh, but Correct. yeah, I'll, I'll prepare that. Uh, I'll make sure that. So I'm adding to the notes that we need to have uh, built on one thirty one, so we can do the release on two six. Right, that's what Correct. we Correct. target. Correct. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine issues created, right? 
Yeah, and uh, they are actually those, uh, uh, the list, the long list is actually the same issue for each repository, right? Correct, correct. Uh, yeah, nice. so just yeah. Uh, the the goal here is um, so mm -hmm. we my ask to you and Samir and Pritesh is to kind of nominate uh, folks from the AWS side. So the the way uh, I am thinking of this is if we have like uh, uh, mm -hmm. leave three folks from each organization for each repository, okay. and they may okay. be the same for some of the repositories. But Correct. we just need to go and clean up those things uh, and um, eventually make sure that we have the right people. Uh, we had some issues when we were scheduling the first testing that actually the folks came back and said, hey, you don't have maintainers file. And this is the file that we are using to actually uh, send right. notification for any uh, issues. So that's the thing that we need to, to do. And of course, based on those maintainers and code owners files, we will update the uh, the teams and provide the necessary access to, to those folks. Uh, also, okay. we need to have that as also to, to have access to the Zoom account to which apparently none of us has access uh, to uh -huh. go and schedule the publishing of the um, videos uh, and, and so on. So uh, we need, unfortunately, to go through this process uh, before we actually start uh, uh be being able to actually get access because we talk with the cncf folks and they said well we can give access to the maintainers the maintainers already have access like steve uh, uh justin cormac and, and nias they do but uh, like we cannot always go and ping them for everything that actually we need to do there exactly. so we need to okay. yeah correct yeah. exactly exactly yeah. So my ask uh, for you, Samir and Pritesh, is really to sure. uh, create a new issue for for each individual nomination that you would like for each one of the projects, uh, and link it to mm. that issue that I created because this is a generic issue, mm. and uh, mm. we can schedule time to kind of agree on who are the people that uh, we all agree uh, we should add as maintainers, and I can go and submit the the PRs for updating those files. Yeah, definitely. so that's kind of the yeah. So for each of this issue, you're expecting uh, for each org to create an issue so that they have the nominated members tied to that issue and it all yeah, merges because... into this one issue. Is that true? Mm. Okay, yeah. So, uh, let me uh, trying to share my screen. Sorry, too many monitors. Um... Mm. Can you see my screen? Yes, I do. Okay, so, oops, where did the mouse go? So, uh, and we, so for this one, notary and for turf, actually, we don't need to do that because notary, I expect Docker uh, to, to nominate their people. And right. uh, I already pinged Justin Cormack and Lucky pinged Justin Cormack. So for this one and for the tough one, I don't think mm. uh, we need to do anything. So those are, but for the other ones, so the, like, maybe we can, uh, I'm trying to really how to minimize the, the amount of work, uh, but I was uh, hoping that we can get, let's say for notation. Um, if you go and look at the, let me actually open that. Right, mm. and uh, if you go and let's say look at the code contributors, right? Uh, so these are the, the folks. So we can go and choose a couple of those folks and nominate because they are contributing to the code. And uh, okay. uh, But filing a single issue for each individual person for in this particular repository and saying, I nominate this person, based and, and link it to this issue. Uh, and those are the reasons why I am nominating this person because they contribute to the project for the last three to six months. Uh, they participate in the meeting, make, make decisions and so on. And uh, uh, then we can maybe in the next meeting or the meeting after that, we can say, yes, everybody agrees. Uh, we can even ask, uh, assign it to people to, to, to vote for that. Uh, and we'll just update the file, just a little bit more rigor around uh, 
and visibility of how those people ended up in the maintainers files. That's that's the overall goal. So there are two two sections here, right, uh, Toddy? One uh, one list is the our engineers who are the actual contributors, right? Day in day out, right? And mm -hmm. the maintainers who are at a very high level, right? Uh, so you are you thinking of having if we have to add new maintainers or change whatever that uh, changes in terms of the maintainers group itself so and the contributors who are the engineers right so for each member is one issue is it yes mm -hmm. ah. because uh, yeah so we can vote on on each member <laughs> yeah okay so the contributors and their access level also right yes That's the reason mm -hmm. you are going with each issue because it there might be contributors having different level of access exactly right? yeah okay mm -hmm. got it got it okay mm -hmm. yeah okay perfect and, yeah, I, uh, I ask uh, on our side, like uh, uh, I think Lucky and Sache, and uh, when she and Yi come back, they will file this uh, for for folks. Uh, let let's see what what they will file. But yeah, as you explained, the expectation is like for each individual that we nominate, we create an issue, describe what his or her contributions were to the project uh describe what level we would like to nominate them whether it's just contributor maintainer reviewer and uh, uh, then we'll add them to actually we'll vote on them which kind of i think we are all on the same page uh, yeah of course there needs to be a commitment from them that they will continue this work so that's also the other the other thing uh in general we don't want to end up with uh uh folks that uh, will not be actively participating in the in the uh, further development of the project okay perfect mm -hmm. i think i got it yeah okay. uh, that's good uh, was there anything about the release we had to cover here uh, so last, I think uh, we spoke, we wanted to think of overall goals. What are the goals for RC3, RC4 RC or the release? Yeah, based correct, on your, correct. Um, correct. based I on have, your yeah, HackMD. I think I have not modified it. Almost today mm -hmm. till end of the day is kind of too many things going on on my plate. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> I will definitely take a stab on it sometime tonight and tomorrow. Hello, definitely, Ronnie. and I'll ping you on the side. I lost you. Oh, can you hear me, Tori? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that okay? So what I was I... telling is, is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It seems on my side uh, the network failed. Oh, go ahead. So, oh, that's fine. So uh, what I said is still about today, end of the day, I am I have several things on my plate that I need to put it to rest. So I can take a step tonight and uh, tomorrow morning, and I definitely will ping you on Slack. So you can take uh, a look at it and let me know your opinion on that. So to, tomorrow you should have something for RC3 for sure, because I'm going to shuffle a little bit on RC3 and RC4 based on our discussion in the last meeting. Um, uh, does okay. that sound that, good? Yeah. that sounds good if we can actually on Monday's meeting if we can make a, a kind of overall yeah. goals sure. and agree sure. on those overall goals that sure. will be best sure. I will also chat with uh, uh, Feyman and E uh, sure. I have my thoughts on that uh, and let's agree on Monday and just slice kind of the, the big areas that we want to target for each one of those releases Perfect. and uh, um yeah so okay we're targeting monday to to have this this conversation and yeah we can chat on on slack uh in the meantime perfect perfect so mm -hmm. the plan is uh, see this is the mindset i am going through right so by M march uh first week we need to have a version one so it bakes 
and we'll have good uh, feedback from customers by the time you go to KubeCon. After which, mm -hmm. of course, after first week of March, we can continue to do the release with the remaining features that will that will be further release, whatever cadence, uh, same versioning that we are going to take it. Mm -hmm. That will continue the development, but for your KubeCon, it is V1.0, right? That's what yeah. mm -hmm. we are going to... Okay, that's the mindset I have. Okay, that's good. Yeah, makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. just to let you know, uh, we uh, already have an internal customer that actually he submitted this feedback about uh, they started mm -hmm. using Notary for signatures. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think he filed the issue. I need to ask him the, which issue I didn't go and look. Uh, uh, he sent me the link, but, um, uh, and it was related about the outputs that we are getting from the uh, tool itself or the CLI. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, we kind of, uh, I was looking at this as one important thing that we may at least provide some some improvements uh, before the sure. release. But yeah, sure. we can we can discuss that on Monday. Sure. Uh, can you ping me what where, where is that issue logged? Uh, let me file it. If you can uh, ping me it. on Slack, uh, Toddy, I'll yeah, go through. Yeah, I'll that. ping you. I'll yeah, ping you on good. Slack. Yeah, that's really good to see some feedbacks, you know, ahead of time, just to see if, if it's low, medium or high and how we have to address that. Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, that's the one. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, the issue. I'll send it to you on on uh, Slack. Uh, yeah, Slack is good here. We lose it. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll send it to you on Slack uh, yes. and on tag you there. Sure. Okay. Uh, anything else, Vani? Or I think that's no, all I, think, I have. No, uh, I think I uh, think I'm good. Yeah, I got all my answers and clarification. I am supposed to go ahead and proceed. <laughs> So that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Thank you. Have a we nice have day a and weekend. we'll chat on yeah. Slack. Yeah, sure. you too. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.